Hi and welcome to this tutorial on the realistic local government scene. The realistic local government scene is a level of detail 3 scene that includes the world imagery draped over detailed elevation along with LED3 buildings and realistic trees. We're going to open up the publish realistic local government scene task. The first thing we want to do is we want to add our elevation surface. Just select your elevation surface, bring it into the scene, and we're going to add it to the ground surface in ArcGIS Pro. Now, if we want to publish the elevation surface, we need to make sure that the Z values are in meters and that the projection is in Web Mercata. And then we need to add this newly created elevation surface to the ground surface in ArcGIS Pro in order to be able to publish it. Now you might have to refresh the geodatabase so you can find that newly created elevation surface. And then we can add it to the ground surface. So we right click on the layer and the sharing dialog opens, we give it a good name and a summary, tags, and under configuration, we'll set the lurk compression to less than 0.05. And then we can publish. And if you already have done this in the schematic local government scene, you can skip this step. Then we're going to add our schematic buildings. These are the buildings that we created using the schematic local government scene. And then we're going to add textures to these buildings to create realistic buildings. If you don't want to show full resolution of the textures on all your buildings, you can set a texture reduction factor on the buildings that you would like to show in less resolution. This will help with performance in ArcGIS Pro and also on the web. So what you could do, for example, only for your area of interest, you can use higher resolution textures and then for the surrounding buildings, you can use lower resolution textures. Then we're going to apply a rule package. And this rule package doesn't come, doesn't come with the initial download. So we need to go to this link in the task to download it from ArcGIS Online. And once we have it, we can apply this rule package and run the task. We can change our base map to the world imagery to make it look even more realistic. And then, as you can see, if we zoom into the buildings of interest in the middle, we've got our high quality textures. And then for the buildings where we set a different resolution reduction factor, you can see they have less quality textures. This step, this step is not necessary, but it might help with performance in ArcGIS Pro and on the web. Now, if you have other realistic buildings, for example, the ones you modeled in City Engine or in SketchUp, you can bring these into the realistic scene as well. But what, is, what happens here, as you can see, is that the buildings we brought in they overlap with buildings in uh, my base layer, if you like. So what we can do now is we can mask the features from our base layer with the buildings that are brought in from City Engine.
And the only thing we're doing here is we're setting a definition query on the base layer. So no buildings are deleted. It is just a definition query that you can remove yourself if required. And then we're ready to publish the buildings. And if you want to publish to a global scene, we're going to have to set the scene coordinate system in ArcGIS Pro to Web Mercator. And this is not necessary if you're going to publish to a local scene. So we're publishing both sets of buildings, buildings that came from City Engine and also the buildings in the base layer. So we run the publish building task twice. Do not need to set the coordinate system again because it's already been set. Give it a summary, some tags, and we hit publish. Now, the last thing we want to do is we want to add realistic trees. So we go to the Add Preset button, click on Realistic Trees and load in a point feature class. And this was this point feature class was created using the schematic local government scene. And then we have our realistic trees in our scene. Our last thing to do is to publish those trees. It's the same in the same way as you publish your buildings. And then we can go to ArcGIS Online or Enterprise, wherever you published it to. And we're going to build and create our realistic scene on the web. So we can switch our base map here as well to the world imagery and then bring in the building, those two building layers and their realistic trees. And that's it. Thank you for watching the tutorial.